Hi, this is Justice with Tablet Pro. In this video, I'm going to be showing you the new updates to the Studio app. Now, if I press the side button on the stylus, you're going to notice that there is a couple new icons on the radio menu. There's the show the main window, which of course brings up the studio main panel. There is the touch panel on and off. This will load the specific one. So if you're inside Rebel or OneNote or something, this will load the uh, correct one. Here, this is for the assist pad uh, or the float mode. I think it should do that. Let's check. Yep, or the float mode if the artist pad, the touch panel is not loaded. And then over here is a toggle between A and B. This is super cool. Actually, I love this. Those are a couple little changes. Let's look at the home page. If you haven't seen the update in a couple versions, you notice that there is a new button here. This Again, we'll toggle the correct. This says uh, the relevant Tablet Pro preset. So if you have Blender open, it'll load Blender. You know, designer, it'll load Designer. It just it kind of looks at wherever you're you're at. Click here, and then it'll tell you to click on the on the app, and it'll load it for you. So it just kind of makes a couple different processes a little bit simpler. All right, so we made some other changes in the Mini Layout Editor. There's now video tutorials here and on the main panel. If you're in one of the radial menu here, you can choose A or B to load that radial menu. If you change something, you can click right here, update to radial menu, or you can click apply, and that should work now. Now there is also the option here. So if you want to sample a color, and this is uh, actually a, an interesting thing because you can't sample a color uh, in all the same places that you can with the pen as you can with the mouse. I'm uh, not sure why, that just is how it seems to work. So if you use the color picker built into Studio, which is when so say we copy that color there, there wasn't a way to paste it over here, but now there is. So if you right click, right on the font, all right, so that lets you change here and again you can just apply instead of having to click this icon both will still work and i like that over here there's the option again to load the relevant preset uh, based off of um, whatever you click on next uh, we fixed a couple things here to make this work a little bit smoother uh, most of it's uh, unnecessary to talk about now if we go into one note Say we have uh, this panel over here. We're going to test this. We're going to click here, activate the relevant Tablet Pro preset. It found OneNote and opened it up. That's great. Now we have these. These are click location buttons. Now these say click location. They now say the location that they're clicking. So we're going to go here. We're going to click this. Location must be mapped, telling us we have an action to perform. Let's go over here. Our draw tab is the one that actually has this. So we're going to go from mouse coordinates. We're going to drag up to here and click. Okay, now this should now say the location we just assigned. Instead of telling you the location must be mapped, it will now tell you the location that was just assigned. And this is really great because it uh, makes sense and tells you a little bit more about where you're clicking and, and I like that a lot. Now here in the settings for radio menu, uh, we have removed one of the options here because we now have the uh, load the touch preset option. So instead of doing that over here automatically, we're just giving everyone the chance to do it consistently using this toggle touch panel option. And we did do one additional change. There's a keyboard shortcut change because there's a conflict with the snipping tool inside of Windows 11. So Win is actually a screen capture option and we had that for the radio menu. So now it is we will open the barrel radio menu. Shift will open the invert radio menu and really that's just radio menus A and B. So don't worry about the names, but that's where the letters come from B and I, barrel and invert. And then as a quick little note, when you're opening the radio menu, uh, the official process is to hold the button down and then tap the screen. So this brings up the radio menu very consistently. Uh, sometimes if it doesn't come up when you're hovering, you just need to tap the screen while you're holding the button. Tap the 
screen while you hold the button, it will open every single time. Now, if it's doing a little bit of extra work, you can go here to settings for the radio menu and shortcut to open radio menu editor. That means that if you open and hold the button, continue to hold the button and tap on it again, it will open up the mini layout editor. Another change that we made here is settings. Download touch now opens this panel that gives you two options. This is from the Windows Store and alternate download is from the website. There are also new tutorials over here in the tutorial section. Feel free to check those out and make some suggestions if there's something that you would like to be added to the video tutorials. All right, you guys, that's it for this update. If you guys have questions, put those questions in the Discord channel. If you have suggestions, put those suggestions in the Discord channel or in the comment section below. If you haven't rated us up in the App Store, you can click right here on the Rate option. Please help rate us up in the store. If you have a complaint or a question, please send that to me directly, either at justice at tabletpro.com or in the Discord channel. And that way we can keep the store rating high so we can continue development and have some success so that the tool continues to grow and uh, those complaints are taken seriously and questions are taken seriously so send those over to me and we'll continue making the app better all right you guys thank you so much for watching until next time stay creative and have a wonderful day